We're also getting word today that the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is cutting funding to candidates who are in trouble with their re-election campaigns. The DCCC essentially giving up on some candidates in these five states, including Ohio Democrat Congressman Steve Dryhouse, who had this message for his own party. Now the DCCC is walking away. Let's send a message to the DCCC. Let them know that you support candidates who stand up for your principles. I need your help. Please go online, make a contribution, help us deliver this race, and send a message to the DCCC and to all Americans that when we voted for change in 2008, we meant it. Joining me now with more, Rob Thompson, radio talk show host, and Ben Ferguson, host of The Ben Ferguson Show. Gentlemen, this is so interesting to me because obviously the DCC has to prioritize its funding going into these midterm elections. Mm -hmm. But this guy, among others, are saying, I was there for you. I, this guy, for example, came out and said, uh, Dry House, and it came out and said, I voted yes on health care, I voted yes on stimulus, I voted yes on cracking down on Wall Street, and this is the thanks I get, Rob? You, you walk away from me when I'm now in a tough race, and the reason I'm in this tough race is because I said yes on those votes, and, I, and, and you leave me? Hang out to dry? Well, I'm not sure if it's uh, being left out to dry. I think it's being politically practical. If you're in a race that the, 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 the Democratic Party does <laughs> not feel that they're going to win, why should the Triple C drop more money down a hole that's already bad and go ahead and spend the money where it is more uh, where it is needed and have some in ready reserve and remain liquid up the, through these next two weeks? So yes, you're going to see some political triage. There are going to be some of the chaff cut loose. We're uh, we're progressive, but we're also practical. We realize that there there's some wholesale losses coming our direction and the ones that we can hold on to we've got to spend every penny there okay. absolutely the truth well you know that, yeah. that that may be a political reality ben well no i think what you have here is you have people that, they, that remember when the president's big word he said is the difference between now and 1994 is you have me he said, I'm powerful, I'm big, you'll win. Give me the votes that I want on health care. I know people don't want it. I know it polls with the American people badly, but you have me. And now pretty much what they've said to all these people is, hey, we lied to you. I mean, the Democrats that are in trouble right now should be livid because they made votes based on the president saying, you have me. And now we realize the president that means nothing in these races because his own popularity and you know what if they would have stuck to what they believed in they wouldn't be in this much trouble but this is the reason why the democratic party has so many problems is they had people voting for things that they personally didn't believe in because the well, president said you're going to do it and Rahm Emanuel said and so. And this guy points out dry house points out that the money that he thinks he is entitled to from the DCCC is actually going in part to candidates who voted against uh, to Democratic candidates who yeah. voted against some of those initiatives because the, the DCCC seems to think those other candidates have better chances of holding on to their seats. So he's scratching his head saying, I, I'm political. there for you, I don't get the money, and the guys who voted against those initiatives, you, them you're funding, Rob? Well, I mean, look, well, look in Georgia that's right, right now. You got, absolutely look, pragmatic. Look at this is about winning elections. That's the bottom line. At the, at the end of the day, on November 3rd, we're going to take a count to see who has the majority in the House and in the Senate. And right now, your previous voting record be damned. You're either with us or you're against us, or you're going to win or you're not. And when you look at what the, the DCCC <laughs> is doing right now, they're getting ready for the last fight. They're, they're holding on to the Alamo, as it were, as I speak to you from the San, San yeah. Antonio. This is right, a, a time to, to really fight. Let me ask you this, Ben. Let me ask you this, Ben. Let me just, because we only have a little Time, I want to get to this. How does this affect the Democrats on a go-forward basis, Ben, in the House, as the president, it, it well, after them. November 2nd, as the president and a Speaker Pelosi or Minority Leader Pelosi goes to them and tries to whip up votes saying, please vote for us on the hard issues, we'll be there for you next election. I mean, what, what good do those promises now have? Kiss it goodbye. I mean, the biggest problem now you're going to have with the Democratic Party and this president is a PR issue because you got a president that said, I, the difference is you have me and they don't have him anymore and they made votes and that they should learn from this. You don't vote for things that you cannot defend in your own district that your own district doesn't want. Look at Representative Marshall in Georgia. He's running an ad right now saying that he voted with the Republicans 65% of the time and Nancy Pelosi wouldn't even have lunch with him and he's a Democrat. So, I mean, that's how much trouble they're in. They're actually saying, I vote for Republicans more than Democrats because their own party pretty much said, we don't care what you did for yeah. us. We're going to do whatever we can to win in well, some places. And if you helped us, tough luck. There's this other guy, Tennessee, Tennessee Democrat Roy Heron, who says that uh, the DCCC yeah. pulled his funding after he came, came out publicly and said that he would not vote for Nancy Pelosi as House Speaker if the Democrats maintained the majority. You know so what? And that's what they did. I mean, the they went after these guys and said, if you don't give us your...
It, but look at look no, at him, Tennessee go. Ryan, with the one you're talking again. about. It's just the point. Here's the bottom line: He's getting ugly. Politics is ugly business. Rob, Ben, <laughs> thank you both so much. It's fun business. <laughs> okay. Thanks for having me. Or